Singapore's resident employment has fallen for the first time in three years. The number of employed Singapore citizens and permanent residents dropped by 1,200 in the second quarter. But the Manpower Ministry doesn't expect the contraction to persist. It explains that hiring will be boosted by year-end celebrations as well as the recovery in tourism. A Richard Matthew with more. Resident employment in Singapore may have fallen, but overall employment grew for the seventh consecutive quarter. The number of workers in jobs grew by 24,300. There were fewer layoffs as well. Still, there are signs that labour demand is set to ease, with the job vacancies declining for the fifth quarter in a row. It's why the Manpower Minister says it's important for businesses to press on with upskilling their workforce. Our country's external demand outlook for the rest of the year remains weak. This is due to persistent inflation in advanced economies as well as geopolitical tensions amongst the major regional powers. So, as a result, our employment growth is likely to be lumpy and also uneven across the different sectors. Speaking to the media at a briefing, Dr Tan cited the example of how engineering firm Dynamac tapped schemes to defray costs of reskilling and job redesign. Among the benefits for workers are improved career progression prospects, as seen for 38-year-old Leong Yujie. He was able to transit to a client-facing role by plugging skills gaps under the career conversion program. Throughout this uh, 3C program, it was about like six months' time. Then my bosses put me on uh, on-job trainings, so they exposed me direct to the projects and clients. So as and when I face any difficulties, I will try to find solutions, ways, and, and go through certain courses so to improve my skill sets. Looking ahead, the Manpower Ministry says growth prospects are uneven for the rest of the year. Outward-oriented sectors like manufacturing and finance could have it worse due to the external economic environment. Aviation and consumer-facing sectors, on the other hand, could benefit from the recovery in air travel. Workers are being urged to be adaptable and be open to moving into other sectors. Human resources analysts point out that job vacancies could continue to fall further, and that's due to a weaker economic growth outlook. Heidi Ng with more. After more than a decade in the Air Force, Ivan Luar's desire for a corporate job led him to look towards emerging growth sectors. He made a mid-career switch to cybersecurity at a bank following an 18-month on-the-job training program. And the career trajectory is one he's optimistic about. There will be an increased demand of tech-skilled professionals, especially in the area of cybersecurity, to protect the banks, to protect the way we transact, the way we live our lives. Through contributing in the financial service sector, I see that as an opportunity to protect our financial health, our financial ecosystem. Such career programs are also helping professionals like Prem Muniandi take up roles in sectors with a growing demand for skilled labour. The former optometrist now counsels families and advocates for their needs. After about three years of volunteering with SPC, I saw that being giving back without expecting anything in return actually brought a certain sense of uh, peace and yeah, the joy. So this intrinsic uh, value or you know um, actually motivated me to want to give back more. So I thought, why not build a career around giving back? Still, the outlook for labour demand could be subdued in the months ahead. Fewer jobs were available in June with job vacancies falling for a fifth straight quarter. But growth sectors like the professional services, information and communications as well as financial services are still hiring, making up more than one-fifth of job vacancies. One human resources analyst points out that workers will need to constantly upskill to stay relevant. It's depending on a lot of different factors that you cannot control, fluke, your luck, the chain of events. You might be able to be in something from your first job until the end. Uh, but I think for most others, we do have to be very open-minded to what the market presents itself with. Mr Tan says this is also considering how some industries have transformed following the pandemic, leading to changes in job roles and business processes. 